Hi friends, several years ago, I found a place that carries vintage dead stock eyewear and I have not looked back since. I have gotten so much joy wearing amazing glasses I would have never found anywhere else. In this video, I'll show you the incredible frames that recently made it home with me and my ever-growing collection of these amazing gems. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. I've been wearing glasses since I was five years old. About eight years ago or so, I had PRK and my vision was so poor that they could only correct for distance. So I still need glasses to read, be on my computer, and you know various things like that. Since glasses are something I wear every day, I have always tried to make them some sort of a fashion statement. I remember picking out my very first pair when I was like five years old. They were very pointy cat eyes. I always like to have several pairs of glasses if I can to swap out based on what I'm wearing. Since I live in sunny Southern California, I also like to have a collection of sunglasses that I can swap out and have some fun with. Over the years, I became increasingly disappointed with the eyewear that I found at my doctor's office and frankly, anywhere else. I wasn't finding unique options. Everything seemed kind of cookie cutter and the quality didn't seem very good to me. Things felt very rickety. I learned why. One company, Luxottica, controls 80% of the major brands in the $28 billion global eyeglasses industry. Even competitors like Warby Parker manufacture their frames in the same factories in China that Luxottica does. So no wonder they all look the same. These glasses just aren't made as well and don't use the quality materials that were used decades ago when they were manufactured in Europe and Japan. About three years ago, one of my favorite vintage resellers here in San Diego told me about a place in town that stocks vintage frames, but better yet, they're dead stock. That means that they've never been worn before. So I had to go check it out and I'm so, so glad I did. This was in the middle of COVID and I was able to get a private appointment there with John and Jenna, the business owners who run the place. They had both been teaching at San Diego State and then launched this business selling these amazing desktop frames from around the world. I did a whole video on my first experience with them, which I will link here. Since my first visit, John and Jenna have grown their business, renamed it Revival Eyewear and moved into a new part of town where they are surrounded by vintage and specialty shops. I've loved watching their progress and seeing more and more people shop for sustainable eyewear options. They're even getting ready to have an eye doctor on premises so people can get their eye exams right there. I have and still love the original glasses I bought from them and have since added to my collection. I added these frames from the 60s that are understated but cool and these Jean-Paul Gaultier sunglasses from the 90s. I follow them on Instagram and I recently saw a few things they posted that I just had to go check out. These stood out to me because I had never seen anything like them. Check out the shape and the beautiful etching. And these beauties are made by NeoStyle in Germany. Um, they were most famous probably in the 1970s, uh, but these are a really rare style of frame um, because they are what's called reverse carved. Um, so you might see that in old brooches and other pieces of jewelry from the 20s and 30s. Um, but all of this is made basically by an artist with a hot poker who will go in from um, some section of the acetate or bakelite, whatever it is, and they will poke out this design. So all of the design work here is actually from the inside of the frame, which is why it looks 3D. It's not like apply to the front or to the back. It's actually inside the frame. Um, yeah, done by an artist. So they're cool. beautiful, beautiful frames. Love them. Yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. I knew I had to add these to my collection. I also made them transitions so they would turn it into sunglasses too. These will be going everywhere with me. I've been looking for a distinct cat eye for many years. Something similar to my first pair back from the 1960s. Revival has also been on the lookout for me because really pointy ones are super hard to find. Finally, the perfect pair came in. So amazing, check these out. Yes, we have some beautiful cat eyes uh -huh. uh, made by um, Alan Meekly in France. Um, yeah. 
1980s, maybe 1990s, but these are all handmade in France. Uh, very, very famous eyewear designer, uh, most well known for asymmetrical designs of sunglasses in the 1980s. And you know his his glasses can fetch thousands of dollars now for some of the uh, most influential or popular models and designs. But you can look them up. He's got like these crazy wing designs. And, yeah, I yeah. love it. I've they're been looking for a beautiful pair forever. Yeah, they're Yay! gorgeous. Yeah, these I will never part with. And since they were made a long time ago, I know they're gonna last. Here's my versatile collection. I am definitely set for a long time. I just can't go in there because every time I do, I find something so amazing. Instead, I've been telling everyone I know about the place and everyone I've sent there has had a really great experience too. John and Jenna are very passionate and they take so much pride in what they do. Because of this, their customer service is simply unmatched. They make getting glasses super fun and educational along the way. The pricing is also comparable to anywhere else I've seen, which I think is remarkable because you're getting way better made glasses that are unique. If you're in Southern California or you're on vacation, I highly recommend getting over to Revival Eyewear. If you aren't local and see something you like, get in touch with them. I'll put all of their information in the description below. Are you also a fan of vintage eyewear and what do you think of my collection? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you Revival for making every day a little more special and stylish. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.